Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Seasucker 48 inch roof rack on our 2021 Mazda CX-5. So say you maybe travel a decent amount and you're picking up rental cars a lot, or maybe you just don't want to deal with, in this case, a pretty tricky install of a roof rack system. This is a great way for you to get those rooftop accessories on your roof and where you need them to go while still being able to break this down and store it in your car. So let's check out a little bit about how it works. First of all, we will talk about the vacuum cups because they are what makes this system so unique. So if you're like me, you might have doubts in their strength and the ability for them to hold your items, but they're still rated for up to 150 pounds of your gear. So they are durable, but we definitely don't recommend leaving them on your car for an extended period of time. If we want, we can release the suction here on this back cup and you see this orange indicator appears, which means that the cup is not fully vacuumed down to your vehicle. We wanna make sure that we press that button until that orange indicator disappears, which is how you know the cups are in place and secure. The Bunky Bars use a round crossbar that spans the length of the vacuum cups. That's what's going to be holding on, or your gear is going to be holding on to these crossbars. So if you have something like maybe a J-style kayak carrier or some ski and snowboard carriers, typically their clamps are designed to work with round crossbars, but you might get a little bit more variability on their angle that being said, as you load them up onto your crossbars, things tend to even out a little bit, and most of your items, I think, will be held safely and securely. Like I mentioned, one thing about this roof rack is that it is super easy to break down and store in your vehicle, but what comes with that is a little bit of a lack of security in the roof rack. So, Seasucker does have cable anchors and cable locks that wrap around your bars and go back into your vehicle. They're a little bit clunky to work with, and I personally would probably just break it down and store it in my vehicle when I don't have accessories on myself. I'll grab a couple quick measurements just so you have an idea of what it would be like to live with this on your roof. So starting with clearance from the top of our roof to the bottom of the bars, in our case, that's going to come in at three and three quarters inches. So that's how much room you're going to have underneath for your clamps, for on your accessories, or if you have large bindings on your skis and snowboards. That's how much room you'll have there. As far as the height added on to your entire roof, from this middle point, it's going to be right around five inches of total added height. So if you factor that in to the height of your accessories, that's the number you're going to want to keep in mind as far as clearance issues. Can you store this with your accessories in your garage? That being said, again, I just wanted to reiterate that these aren't a long-term solution and after a while the vacuum cups will lose suction so we definitely don't recommend this as a permanent solution. Those are just a couple measurements you might want to consider. The installation process of getting the bars on a roof is really straightforward, especially helpful if you're on the go frequently, so you can check out how we did that right now. To begin the install process, the first thing we did was make sure that our roof is clean and unobstructed so that our suction cups fit nice and securely. Then, as you can see, we already have our back crossbar set up. So now we'll get the front one put on and in place. First, we just want to make sure that everything is secure. Also, we've gone and measured out the distance between them to make sure that the suction cups fit within the ridges on our roof. With our plastic covers removed, now we can load up these crossbars. We'll just get them roughly in place for now, and we'll come back and get some measurements to make sure that everything is to our desired specification. So just like that, we'll rest them, and I'll adjust the other side, and then we'll get those measurements. We have them roughly in place now. I will measure our crossbar spread to get to what we want it to be. In our case, we have it about 26 inches on either side. Normally we look for about 28. We just found that that's kind of a universally good amount for most crossbar accessories. But with the CX-5, it does taper down pretty strongly on either side. So getting it to where it's even on the crossbars is more of a priority. So 26 is the number we're looking for in our case. When we have our measurements and everything laid out where we want it to be, we can suction the cups to the top of our roof using the built-in buttons on either side. So you might have to press down on the crossbars just a little bit in order for them to feel flush to the top of the roof and actually start getting that suction in. And then you'll press these buttons until that orange indicator disappears on both the front and the back side. Just making sure that that orange indicator is fully inside the suction cups so that you know that they are fully pressed down. 
Once you've pressed all the buttons till that orange indicator disappears, the crossbars are installed and now they're ready to accept any of your rooftop accessories and you're ready to hit the road. Overall, the monkey bars are a great solution again if you do travel a lot, maybe you're switching vehicles a decent amount, maybe you just don't use your crossbars super often and you want a solution that's really easy to break down and store when you're not using them, definitely a great solution. However, if you are using your crossbars very frequently, we do definitely recommend going with some sort of fixed crossbar system. One of the reasons we might want to use the monkey bars in the case of the CX-5 is because we do have to peel that strip up and find those fixed points and we would have to drill holes if we wanted to for certain roof rack systems. Not all of them, but again, the installation of those is going to be a little bit more involved. So if you use them more frequently, that's definitely a way to go. But if you do travel often or switch vehicles, I think the Sea Sucker monkey bars are definitely a great solution for you. Again, this was just a quick look at how to install them and how they work on our 2021 Mazda CX-5.